So uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone, wherever location we are right now. So I'm privileged to share with you some stories of our BINHI program, a corporate-led uh, urban green initiative by saving our native trees. So just a brief background of my organization or company, uh, the Energy Development Corporation, is uh, the largest uh, renewable energy in the Philippines, and it's the world's uh, largest vertically integrated geothermal company. So our energy business is into geothermal, uh, biggest among our uh, business portfolios. We also have wind, uh, solar, and hydro. So as our commitment to help address uh, the continued degradation of our forest and biodiversity, uh, the company launched the BINHI program in 2008. Uh, by the way, BINHI is the Philippine word for seedling, which symbolizes uh, hope for the environment. And uh, the BINHI is our company's nationwide uh, gre greening legacy which aims to restore uh, the new red forests, preserve and propagate red and trees, and protect biodiversity resources. So our BINI program actually is uh, uh, integrates our company's watersheds uh, and other environmental portfolios. But my uh, presentation this afternoon will, will focus more on our efforts in initiating a greening of the urban landscape as a refuge for uh, threatened trees. So this component of our program uh, aims to secure uh, and bring back to abundance the 96 of the most premium and threatened Philippine native trees. And in doing so, we will contribute in updating the conservation status of these threatened trees. So wh uh, why 96? Well, uh, uh, out of the more than 500 threatened trees that were assessed in 2006 uh, when we started the program, we identified 96 as our priorities for our ma mainstreaming effort. So we put grades in the prioritization where we use criteria such as uh, ecological factors on one hand and economic and aesthetic values on the other hand. And uh, these 96 uh, trees perhaps are among the rarest and most premium trees in the country. So this includes the Philippine ironwood, the uh, pterocarps, and other uh, threatened trees. And to guide us in our mainstreaming program, we follow this framework of uh, conservation value chain. And among them is the establishment of uh, future mother trees in urban environment. So this is an exit to conservation uh, with the establishment of uh, arboreta and three parks of Philippine native trees. But uh, before we can start, we, have to, we also have to undertake the first and second items in the value chain. So first, our team searched these 96 species in the remotest part of our uh, remaining forest in the country. And it took us, uh, I guess, uh, it's uh, seven years to complete the task. And when we found them, we documented and tagged them. So during our search, so we also gathered seeds, seedlings, wildlings, and cuttings. And these collections uh, are brought into our nurseries for mass propagation. So we have adopted the automated uh, vegetative material reproduction, or we call it BMR. Uh, where we adapted the technology uh, operated through a computer built-in uh, controller with sensor to mimic the natural habitat condition of these uh, trees no? to increase their survival uh, and providing good quality planting materials. Now, in the selection of areas for ur uh, urban greening, we identified three areas such as uh, school grounds, uh, public uh, parks, uh, and industrial state uh, because these areas are considered uh, uh, where uh, the seedlings can easily be maintained and monitored uh, these areas are also extensive, they are readily available for educational or learning experiences, and are, are also access to a wide range of visitors. And to cover as many areas as possible, we partnered with several organizations. Uh, and at present, we have already established more than 20 uh, arboreta and more than hundreds of tree parks across the country. And uh, as of uh, this month, uh, this, uh, we have close to 200 uh, partners across the country that include uh, uh, the government uh, institutions, uh, civil society groups, academic institutions, uh, private uh, organizations, and even uh, individual enthusiasts. So we have planted more than 10,000 uh, threatened trees uh, spread in the 16 regions of the country. So here are some of the snapshots of our tree parks and arboreto for planted uh, trees. So you can see uh, uh, trees uh, during their uh, uh, the planting and uh, um, in the recent pictures. No? So these are planted in school grounds. Okay, yeah, just a rundown. <laughs> and also in public parks uh, and also in uh, industrial states. So, uh, these are linear park. And these are uh, uh, also uh, within a park uh, in the Philippines. And we also planted uh, these threatened trees in military grounds. 
So what are the common features? Uh, so we, we put a uh, uh, site development plan or layout of the uh, area, uh, some uh, entrance marker, uh, signages, uh, just to describe uh, the species. <clears throat> uh, and also we put uh, uh, tree guards uh, just to protect them from any harm. So for the last 10 years, uh, our binky trees have shown success at early stages. They have been, uh, they've been uh, bearing flowers, fruits, and seeds. Even uh, only three years of planting, uh, breaking the myth that uh, native trees are slow growing and will take time before they bear fruits. That's why many choose exotic fast growing species in many tree planting activities. Uh, so our arboreta uh, are, uh, are now uh, grown into biodiversity hubs no? in urban areas, providing shades to people, habitat, and uh, habitat to wildlife and also sanctuary for health and wellness. And also these arboreta are now also serving their purpose as a learning laboratory, not only to students, but also all works of life uh, frequented these areas. So while we have seen some successes of this program, uh, the challenges are still there. Of course, it remains a fact that uh, native trees are nowhere in the consciousness of many Filipinos, particularly in the urban setting where concrete jungles have been their familiar surroundings. Uh, majority of the people visiting our Binhi Arboreta, uh, Binhi Arboreta trees have their first time seeing these native trees in person, although they have been seeing them as the name of streets, villages, and so on and so forth. And another challenge is the limited space in urban areas since greening is only secondary to physical developments as, uh, such as buildings and uh, in, infrastructure. No? Uh, we still have limited number of planting materials. Uh, another thing is that uh, while we have some successes putting up this uh, exit to conservation areas in the form of arboreta, uh, their natural habitat are still facing the threat of uh, deforestation and forest degradation. And also, uh, we need more hands. Uh, we cannot do the work alone. We need the support of many stakeholders in this effort. So what's in the pipeline for us? So we are looking for more partners uh, to support this initiative. And uh, we have to be fast and uh, passionate enough. Uh, we have to broaden our base and persuade other organizations to have tracks of urban spaces to allocate uh, uh, their green spaces for threatened native trees. Of course, uh, advocacy is a key. So we will extend our reach to social media and other platforms for maybe more awareness campaigns. And uh, we will encor uh, encourage uh, low landowners to develop their uh, urban spaces with native trees as a carbon sinks which they can maybe monetize for uh, carbon credits. Uh, we will also work with uh, different local government units uh, for the formulation of local ordinances, uh, for the uh, location of urban greens in the respective areas and uh, prioritizing the use of native trees uh, in their areas. No? And lastly, uh, to transform these networks of arboreta into uh, urban biodiversity, uh, biodiversity hubs and uh, forest batting retreat area. So I guess uh, that's all for my presentation. And I hope that I was able to share some learning that uh, everyone can maybe adapt in your respective location. So uh, maybe we could uh, connect us through Facebook and other uh, social media platform. So thank you very much.